Hi! So, it is another Tutorial Tuesday, and today we're doing something a little bit different. Um, I just got this in the mail yesterday, so this is going to be more of a first impressions and review than a straight up tutorial where I've been using things that I just straight up love and have been loving for months. So, this is the Moira Cosmetics Never Ending Lights Palette. I got this about, like, literally yesterday. I ordered it on Saturday. It came to me on Monday. Really great shipping from LA. So, that's one thing. And also, I left it up to a vote for you, for you since I had three pellets in that shipment, and you said you wanted to see this. So, you're seeing this. I'm going to be doing a swatch thing for you. Uh, this normally retails for $19, but Moira had a 50% off palette sale, so I got this for $10, which was an even better price. I would have been happy to pay the full $20 for it, the full $19 for it, but I wanted to kind of wait and see if Black Friday uh, deals came about, and I will talk about that, but first I'm going to swatch, uh, first I'm going to swatch this white here. Then I will swatch these two metallics, or I'll swatch all three metallics, because that's kind of one of the critiques I have of this palette. And then I'll swatch these three. The shades have names, but they are very hard to see, so... Then I'll swatch these four. Then the last three. I like a nice blue and purple heavy palette. This is blue and purple heavy, which is why I bought it. Um, one thing I will say is that this is not a Chevrolet Heavy palette for 14 shades. There are only three shimmers, plus this black with glitter shot out through it, which is lovely. But there are only three shimmers here, which I like using shimmers, so I don't really like that it's that there aren't a lot of shimmers. Plus, these two light blue shimmers are way too similar in tone to kind of be worth it. Uh, or, like, since there are so many purples, I would have liked to see a lilac shimmer or something like that. Uh, that's just me, though. I just thought that there shouldn't be two nearly identical shimmers. Uh, other than that, I'm going to get started. I'm doing my eyes first because I've never used this palette before, so you'll uh, get my first impressions as I go through it. So, I'm going to guess that uh, peop the three of you who actually voted on this only voted for it because you wanted to see the li that lime green in action, which is, like, kind of the superstar of the palette. So, I will make sure to use that. It's always going in with the primer first. So I think that I will use uh, purples because I love purples. So I'm going to go in with this first as my transition. The green will show up. So 
right away this performs way better than the lilac that I have from uh, the lilac single I have from ColourPop. And then I'm going to go in with this purple all over the lid because you know how I or I'm going to go in with the purple over here because you know how I am. If there's a purple, it will be used. Then I'll go in with I'll go in with a shimmer the shimmer blue right here because it has the least impact. I'm going to try and do like a cold toned rainbow. Oh yeah, that that's why I did my face first because or my eyes first because it looks like there's some fallout here. I don't care about fallout, but there are people who do, so Keep that in mind. Then I'll go in with this mossy green right here. Which is, I'd argue that's one of the superstars of the palette, honestly. And then I'm running a lighter version of each color over top. There is kickback in the pan too, but I don't really care about kickback either. Alright, and then on the Bottom lash line, I'm going to go in with more saturated colors again, except the other way. And then I will do the other eye off camera. Okay, so now that the eyes are done, I will say that they do kind of uh, blend together a little bit muddily, if that's an issue for you. Um, I just kept layering on top and layering on top. Uh, so now I'm going to go into the actual face products. So first, Favorite primer. I am giving this a second chance to see if this will continue to do me as dirty as it has done. Uh, this is the Milani Conceal and Perfect uh, Foundation. This is a medium coverage radiant finish. Uh, just so you know, this has a pretty heavy perfumed scent to that, so if you have sensitive skin, I would stay away. It doesn't have quite the right undertone for me because I'm more pink in undertone, and this is obviously pretty yellow, but it's the right tone at least, so I can, you know, deal with it until I pan it or throw it out, whichever comes first. I don't set my foundation, so I'm not going to powder. Well, I set my foundations, but 
Not in November. Are you kidding? And then... Uh, bullseye highlight as per usual. I'm just really trying to pan this because I love it, but there are some other ones that I really want to get. So I also want to talk to you today about the fact that Black Friday is coming up soon and makeup brands have pretty intense sales. Um, believe me, the Makeup Goblin almost got me. I remember I say the Makeup Goblin, as uh, one of my favorite YouTubers puts it, it's the malevolent being that lives in all of us that wants nothing but to spend hundreds of dollars a week on makeup. So, like, I came really embarrassingly close to buying the ColourPop vault of monochromatic palettes, even though I have the ones that I want that are in the original six, and the other three... I don't like yellow eyeshadow. I have more green eyeshadow than I can already handle between the subculture palette and the tribe palette. And the, uh, and I hate It's My Pleasure with a burning passion. It is a personal grudge of mine that that thing exists at all because it's not purple, it's pink. But they had a fault of it and I was like, ooh, let me think about that. It's like, no, you have the three you want, you don't like the other three, why are you thinking about this? So, uh, and I have been taking advantage of Black Friday deals, like I said, I got this 50% off, but I've been thinking about this since it released a few weeks ago, and I also bought a couple of other things that I will put up here, uh, the Ace Beauté, um, Paradise Fallen palette, and the Menagerie Cosmetics Micro Ink Palette, uh, the mic or the Violet Ink Micro Palette. So here's the thing: I have been lusting over Paradise Fallen for like at least a year, but I haven't been able to justify spending thirty dollars on or thirty five dollars on it. But since it was twenty five, since it was twenty one dollars. Plus seven, plus six dollars of shipping, bringing it to seven twenty-seven dollars total. I could justify that, and you know me in purples. I would use the hell out of that thing. Menagerie Cosmetics Violet Ink Palette. I have attempted to purchase several times because it sells out of every stock, of every restock. Because look at it; it's absolutely stunning. I love it so much, but. There, but you don't need to, like, look at anything and see that there's a sale and go, ooh, I need that. Because I saw that Mice Cosmetics is having a, like, 60% off palette sale and it's like, ooh. But then I remembered, you don't like their things. Because, or, not that I don't like their things, it's that they haven't released anything that personally, like, appeals to me yet. So, I don't need that because I don't like yellow eyeshadow, which is, I don't like rainbow palettes. I don't like, I already have way too much red eyeshadow because I just keep buying more and more red eyeshadow. And those are the palettes that would, that appeal to me. So, or those are their palettes pretty much. So, I don't need it, but I don't know why I kept thinking I wanted it. Uh, Kaleidos Makeup is also having a sale, but I've, but the one that I want, the, uh, Cyber Pink, I, uh, watched Nisi Pisa and she said that you can only really do one look with it, so I was like, okay, then I don't need that, so I'm not buying it. But please, whenever you see these really great sales on makeup products, if you're someone like me who enjoys makeup a lot, uh, 
just take like five minutes to think about it and think how long have you wanted this because if you have never thought about buying it before but suddenly it's on sale and you need it don't go there all right uh lips i'm gonna ColourPop Lippy Sticks in Cami, which I have been panning. I got this. <clears throat> I got this in May. This is how much is left. I've. I really like it because it's like my lips, but better. It's a nice, subtle move. It's the closest thing to a pink I will wear. And. That's the look. Make smart consumer choices when you're shopping on Black Friday, and if you have a lot, and if you want to buy makeup, do it, but be smart about it. Don't go to Sephora. They have shit. Uh, they have shit rewards. So if you're going to go to a retailer, go to Ulta, and actually, you're better off buying straight from this from the. Uh, makeup company's website because they usually have those same sales but even a little bit better and anyway that's all for today and i'll see y'all later bye they said i'm an 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 an